Okay, my brethren, I have a message today from our sister, Julie Wedby from I'm calling you now blogspot.com. Chaos spreads across the world. Child of the Most High, it is I, your Redeemer and King, the suffering servant, but also the master of all creation. I lived, died, and rose again, that all who believe and walk in my way should be saved. Daughter of the King, to all those who love me, who live according to my word, and who trust me and obey me, and obey my instructions, the only way now is the way of the Master. Clearly, chaos spreads across the world, and fear grips the hearts of all those who do not walk intimately with me. It is rightly so. My word says men's hearts will fail for what will come upon the earth. And now it is here. I am the only light in the storm, the only creator who can offer peace and protection as the judgments continue to fall with more and more severity. Those who still refuse to see the writing on the wall, whose spiritual eyes and ears are closed to my voice and my ways, will only know fear and terror, destruction and death. I have given more than enough time, more than enough warnings for so long, more than enough instructions and counsel to prepare the earth for my return and what must come directly before that. The line is drawn between those who stand firm in faith and wear their armor tightly each day from those who wallow in complacency, lukewarmness, apathy, and denial. My return is undeniably close, yet most refuse to accept the reality of my truths and will simply settle for the illusion that judgment is not here and life will go on as normal. I will tell you again, nothing is what it seems, and the greatest deception of all time is soon to occur. Sadly, however, for many, it will be realized too late, and untold numbers will suffer the consequences of living a life without having given total commitment to me. They will not be able to discern truth from lies or the displays of the supernatural that are caused by Satan from the true moves of my spirit across the earth and my chosen ones. I told you these things would come, and now they are here. Do not fear and do not lose hope. I am with you in the storm. I have and will continue to light the way for you. Nothing will occur without my knowledge, and I will fulfill every promise I have made to you. Your way, my beloved, is the way of the Master, and as the earth and all therein succumbs to the darkness, my ambassadors will shine as their king, shine in my brilliance and display a glory in the earth that has never been seen before. I know your hearts are deeply saddened at what is happening, at the mere level of evil that prevails now. As my heart does as well, this should only tell you how very close you are to being changed into my presence and how very short your time now is. Pray for those who die suddenly, those who still do not know me, and continue to be prayed to be used powerfully to save more of the lost. I will honor your prayers, and I will move mightily as the prayers of my righteousness of my righteous avails much. Remember, my ways are higher than your ways, and my plan is perfect. Always remember this. Very soon you will have the understanding that will make everything clear. Trust. Trust my sons and daughters, and obey at all costs. You will inherit the kingdom of my Father, and hear the words, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, and I will make thee ruler of many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Jesus Christ, Yahushua. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. And um, I'm praying for each and every one of you and your families. In Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name. And I have a praise message. We had lost our dog after moving into our new home, and he was gone for a couple of days. And we had prayed to God, and my wife was sure we would never see him again because there's coyotes out here uh, by where we live. And uh, sure enough, uh, we were notified from using the neighborhood app of where our dog was. And uh, we found him safe and sound and brought him home. And that was a beautiful thing. And I was doing my taxes and I was trying to decide whether I would continue with my channel or not. And I'm going to continue with my channel. I asked the Lord if he would give me a sign as which he would like me to do. And when I was doing my taxes, when it came out to what um, I had made on the channel for the year, um, it was $777.70. Now, I want you to know that I have given more than that that we have made back out to people. And uh, 
so we actually had a net loss but on my on my um, form from AdSense it was an answer from God of what we had made <laughs> that it is truly his channel and I give glory to God in the highest for he alone is worthy of praise uh, there's nothing there's no way I could have made that happen there's no way and I pray for each and every one of you and your families out there I um, give all glory to God in the highest I pray for all my brethren I pray for those who cannot pray for themselves I pray for my neighbors I pray for my loved ones I pray for my relatives and for their family members I pray that Father God in heaven would place his holy fire has your protection round about us all on all sides far above us and far below us I pray that he would cover our homes and our vehicles with the hedge that none may cross. I pray that he would cover our places of work and worship, our pets and our provisions, our children, their schools, and their daily activities. I pray that he would wash us clean with the blood of Jesus Christ and that he would uh, protect us during the times to come. I pray that he would shelter us under his wings and that he would keep all plagues and pestilences away from us in our homes, in Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. And I remind you each to armor up daily and speak life in your situations. When my dog was lost, I thanked God for the next two days for bringing him back home. And then I received a message on the neighborhood app a private message from somebody who said that they had called animal control on the dog because they saw it, they saw it um, outside of the gate. And um, they weren't going to say anything at first, but we had put up flyers throughout the whole neighborhood and everywhere. And um, when they saw the flyer, then they called, they contacted me and sent me a message. So all glory to God. Um, I can tell you that... Um, I am I am uh, preparing my family for all the things to come and um, we are doing everything that we can to work together as a unit and uh, we put uh, we thank God each and every day for all that we have and for his protections and Remember, our adversary is the one who seeks to divide us, as he's doing right now with our country. He's dividing us based on politics, based on man's religion, based on our gender, based on anything that he can use to divide. And remember, that is how the few control the many by dividing us and a house divided shall not stand and will soon fall and that is how they were Trump planning on taking America down do not be one of those who join in the riots do not be one of those who join in the in what is to come there's going to be many out there when there is lack and they're going to destroy steal and do whatever they can thinking that there is no one to answer to and when they call for you to join them do not do that be with yourselves and your family in your home have a plan and pray and wait upon the Lord and raise him as your banner the Lord is your banner Jehovah Nisi against all the evil that is coming he shall protect you in this time. In Jesus Christ's most holy and powerful name, amen and amen. I give glory to God in the highest. Baruch Hashem Adonai. Amen.